for me, mind time has been good because it puts you in touch with um, other parents. I just thought it'd be a really good opportunity to uh, meet people that are in a similar situation as we are with um, kids with special needs. I suppose for me it was about coming together with all the women and talking about our problems and our kids and just, you know, having somewhere and go somewhere where we could relate. I look forward to it because it's great to sit around with parents who go through the same stress I go through every day. I found it's been very relaxing to, yeah, to meet with some people that I may have seen in the community but didn't know. So we have things in common with our children. When you have children, you join a play group often and for the kids and you find to a degree, like that, that's been good, but a lot of the parents really focus on, oh my child's the first one to walk and Freddie's the first one to, to talk and say five sentences. And, and so, sometimes it can be quite disheartening because your, your child's always going to be the last one to, to probably walk, to talk and, and do everything. It's also a really good place to, I suppose, air, air a bit of your grievances because we all get very frustrated with the lack of services and stuff in our area, like there's a few, yeah, majority of us do. So it's a really, really good spot to come and, yeah, have a bit of a, have a, have a bit of a cry and stuff if you need to with people that totally understand what you're going through. And yeah, just to have the time, because I can never allocate time to myself. So I really look forward to Fridays at 12. If you're having not a very good day and you want to go on your own, you can just go and relax and read or do some craft or just have discussions. Andrew's put a lot of hard work into um, putting together topics that interest all of us in the group. Usually at the start of the year you might sit down and go through what you'd like to get out of, out of the year and we've covered things like um, dealing with stress, um, perhaps getting support from, maybe, you know, from family, like your network of family and friends and how, how you might, or how you might deal with um, public perceptions and to do with like disability. Just learning from one another. I mean, we're all got, you know, majority of us got younger kids that are going to grow. So we discuss everything from nappies to bottles to puberty. It's just our own little group. And because, you know, of our culture and we're all the same, it just meets everybody's needs, kind of like to be together. We all come in, we just talk a million miles an hour the whole time. Um, not necessarily about what is going on with our children. Um, we come and have a bit of relaxation, like we've had... Um, reflexology, facials, lots of good food and good gossip, it's really good. I've had makeup, like facials, uh, done some meditation, swapped some recipes. I look forward to um, coming every week and so does my son because he has got to know the other kids um, over time and the carers that look after them uh, and, and have the activities that they do. He loves it loves coming along, which is, means that I can relax as well. So I don't have to worry that he's um, not enjoying himself or, or just sitting in a corner or whatever. He's, he really is um, doing activities at his level and, um, and with people who understand him, and that makes a big difference. So we're able to relax and have a cup of coffee and chat, and um, it just it's a really good day out. Mm -hmm.